back out on the river. Um, some of these places I hunt, you can see this white gravel and stuff in here. You wouldn't even suspect you could find anything here. And man, I found some smokers here coming out of the sand layer. You can just see a little bit of fire rock. You can't really tell what's here. But we got some heavy rains. And when I found that E-notch, that base, and I'm back to like those spots looking, surface hunting, and just that little bit of rain washed out something, boys and girls. I just got pictures. I had I already did the clip once. I'm glad I didn't pull it. And the clip stopped and said my SD card was full. And that last video I put on that was like an hour, that's just from 48 hours of hunting. And then um, that video was like an hour and 30 minutes long. I had to cut it down to that. Um, I've been kind of on a roll, but you know, that black point was the best of the day. A lot of the stuff's just average. You know, I'm looking for points like that black one, but you know, you don't always get them. It took me all day to, to find that. But see if you can eyeball this. Um, I already got pictures this time first before I turn the clip on. It's a new peep show on this one, but there's a black canola shirt blade or something right here. Uh, this looks pretty cool. It feels like maybe it's one of them it's probably one of these Amos knives. I find Amos knives here. That's kind of nice. One of these curved ones. It's a knife. And you can see it's been used well in here in this curve. It was probably hafted into something like that. That looks like the major use side. It's like one of them curved ones. This has a little bit of grinding up in here. This is a well used one. Look at that. That's a good surface on it. That's Amos culture because that's same as points on that beach. Well, anyway, later, folks. Now I'm right by some guys cutting some trees. They got some generators and stuff around them. But... Look at this maniac up here on the shore with this other duck. What's up, boys? What's up boys? I don't see a nest up in here or nothing. They're pretty tame ducks. People's been feeding them ones. Well, anyway later. And these things are letting me get close to them. Well, anyway later. Alright, these areas like this. These are gravel, river gravel bars. Um, these are like a lot of creeks. Um, a lot of smaller undammed rivers. And you're pretty much out of luck if you're going to try to sift this stuff. You just got to kind of surface on it. Um, see, there's evidence of Indians. There's fire rock right there. It's coming out of this bank and it's stuff's all mixed up. But you have a chance for anything here. This stuff holds everything real good. Coins, horseshoes, everything like that. Bottles, but the bottles get pounded. You got to get them right when they come out of the bank up here high. Once they get down in this gravel. That that was an airhead, but it's a leaf. Um, I'll get back at you. I just wanted to tell you about this gravel. You, this is just river, hard stone river gravel, most of it. And it's not as good these places, but you can find stuff laying out later. All right, here's this same gravel. You can see that some of it's all fired up. Like right here, it's fired sandstone. This place I could never sift because of all this gravel. You could, but. It's just not worth it. It just, there isn't as much stuff. It's not as concentrated. Um, I found points right in here within feet of where I'm standing and showing you the ground on video. A real nice black pentagonal laying right up in here someplace. I always find these prescription bottles. They're everywhere. Every trip I find one of them. Most of the time they have pills in them. They're always all, you know, they're gross. That stinks people throw stuff away like that. An animal could eat that stuff and die easy. And it's just, uh, and needles too. You gotta be careful. Hypodermic needles. Most of the ones I find have the caps on them though, but people are throwing them away, that's for sure. Where they shouldn't. They're everywhere. Anyway, later. Here's 
here's another example of what you could see. Like out in here is that gravel like I just showed a few minutes ago under this mud. It's mudded in right now. But as you come up the beach, cracked up burn up fire rock. And then you come up in and you get into this little sand layer right below this clay cap. And you see the rock laying on the clay that's come down out of the bank. This is the siftable stuff. And the layers usually any from about that thick up to about that thick. And that's what you want to sift. This stuff up here right off this clay cap. This is right in around where I found that E notch. And there's some interesting stuff here. I've always found flakes and stuff in here. And see the fire rock? This is stuff you want to scoop up up here. This will help you a great deal me telling you this because just sifting down in the air and then the wrong stuff isn't sifting this is the stuff you want to sift up here um, you can see the rock in it and how it's falling right off this clay cap this is a place I don't sift much but it's siftable you know it's siftable well anyway I'll get back if I see anything else today later alright that didn't look like much but it's a net sinker there's flakes of flint coming out of here too, and I find lots of net sinkers here. This just isn't a real nice one. You can see kind of the principle. Some cordage would have been wrapped around that, and it would have been on like a woven casting net, like to catch fish. Um, it's been struck here um, to kind of even up the sides. But there's flakes, and I found lots of Ford Ancient Points. I've probably found 10 in the last month here broken. Some of the clips didn't make it to video. Like I said, that last, see, there's another, well, look here, jeez, point. Thought that was a flake. Um, right there, Mississippian point. See, my stones broke, jeez. Just the corners off that one. Down here, that's the tip. It's kind of been resharpened there, but that's the tip of the point. It's a little triangular Madison. Told ya, man picked up a fleek and then a point right in here you can see how this stuff's coming out there's just a thin layer coming out of here see it in here in the burnt burnt fire rock it's just there's a little flake right there I found a little bird point here on video heck that's that kind of looks like a little base off a point that's yeah, just a flake but that's nice that looks a like Carter cave um, you have to look real close, that's for sure. I thought that little point was just a flake. Well, that's a couple artifacts just walking. I haven't been out horribly long. Um, I've just been, like, goofing off pretty much, looking at new spots and places I've never been on, just take eyeballing them. But you can see what I'm doing here. Let me hit this screen. Water's right down there. I'm clear up just walking this line of the sand coming out of this high bank. The best places are up high, usually. Well, anyway, I hope that helps. It was a live find after I found a net sinker to show you. Just picked up a point, man. That don't happen too often. It's hard to get live finds arrowhead hunting, that's for sure. A lot different melt detecting. I'll just film myself digging when I start melt detecting. Like, this would be a perfect spot. There's base clay under this, and I'm finding little glass shards. There's some uh, clam shells coming out, like ones people ate. Um, like oyster shell busted up pieces too. What I'm doing on a place like this, see all the deeper I'm going, it's right in that layer of that stuff I found, that point is falling out of the bank and this stuff layers on the beach. And that's what I fill my sifter with. See, that's base clay right down into there. So there ain't much on this, but there's points laying here someplace. Try to sift one maybe. Um, this place isn't real good. It's hard to find stuff in the sifter, but I do every once in a while. Lay that let me pull this out together. There's a fishing reel. Somebody's lost a whole pole. South Bend, that's a crapper. I was going to see if it was a real good one. I was going to take it and see if I couldn't take the parts off of them. Because somebody would have needed the parts for their reel. But not that one. Later. See, this place is ruined. I mean, I found hundreds of Amos points right here where all of this crap's at. There's still some stuff bleeding out, but I only find like a point here a year. It's just way too muddy. And they pushed all this other crap down in. This is all stuff from the top. It's like that 
clay stain or something. I don't know. It's just look at it all up in there. I used to find points right in here like crazy too. But the site's just buried now. I don't even. I get lucky and one gets blown out of the bank down on top of this stuff every now and then. Um, but man, I have smokers from here. I mean, just ridiculous serrated points. It used to be sandy pockets of sand that came out of a sand layer in the bank right on the base clay, and I'd sift them out. Um, it looks like this will be it for the video. I tried to find some more stuff up here, but you know, these are surface hunting spots, and this is the way it goes. Man, I found arrowheads right around this rock when it used to be good. My dad did. This site's done gone. Found stuff right in here. But anyway, folks, I'll get back on the next one. That's it. Later. I'm about 30 yards offshore, too. That'd give you an idea how deep and wide this valley is and how much forest there is around here. Look, it's everywhere. All of them hills are just miles and miles and miles of just solid forest behind them like even behind my house miles and miles and miles of just unexplored forest with house foundations and just it's just treasure hunting glory here later all right i'm back to my house um the rain's gonna hit so i'm done for the day i was gonna go to the dump or maybe go put the kayak in someplace else but you can see the flakes i found mostly dark stuff and river cobble chirts but there's a couple flakes of Flint Ridge. I think that tan piece right here is Crooksville. But you can see one piece of Coshocton, Upper Mercer right there. You can see the blue coming out. But I'll put this in my bucket and we'll sort through it some other time. Um, I am going to go and work on a video. It's going to come up a dandy. All right, I'm back home now. I wanted to put this clip in uh, this video. If you watch my dump digging videos, this is a mug base early crown top it's a seven and a half ounce bottle it's from martin's ferry high it's cj respect or cj r e a s b e c k martin's ferry high and it's an aqua mug base i left a little of the um i could get this looking brand new but i left a little of the mineralization like stuff water staining on the inside here's one from the vault that's also cj respect and i think this is like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven ten sided it'd be ten because i started with that one ten sided hutch cola aqua glass and this one needs cleaned it, it's perfect condition it just has um water staining on the inside which i can get out in five minutes with the stuff i use like i bend coat hangers and reach down in with scouring pads and spray cleaner in but I haven't got around to this one. But CJ Respect, Martin's Ferry, Ohio Hutch Soda, Aqua Glass, just really nice. This one it still even has like rust staining on the outside. It's a dug bottle. It's got bubbles all in it. And these are scarce bottles. This Martin's Ferry is a small town. Martin's Ferry, Ohio. Well, I wanted to show you that. There's a rainstorm coming. It's starting to rain now. So I wanted to show you guys this. There's a lot of varieties of these bottles, and this one here, th this multi-sided one's older than this one. Later.